friends, come on in, take your shoes off, have a seat, and consider staying a while by clicking that subscribe button. So obviously I am currently standing outside in the Indiana snow because it is the perfect day to show you guys how to make snow cream. A lot of us think in an SHTF situation or an emergency situation or a grid down situation that we're going to lose a lot of luxuries and that we're not going to be able to ever taste anything good again. And my opinion is the exact opposite. For thousands of years, people have been creating the most delicious foods out of the most simplest things. And and our favorite snacks have to come from somewhere, right? Today, I'm gonna show you how you can make ice cream without running to the store, without having a freezer, by just using simple ingredients that you should already have in your stockpiles. So let's get started. First thing you're going to need is some metal bowls. They don't have to be anything fancy. I'm literally using the measuring cooking bowls that I have on hand, as well as my Instapot insert. As long as they're metal, it's going to work best. You can use plastic, but plastic will not get as cold as metal. And the key to some good snow cream is to have some really cold bowls because snow cream does melt faster than regular ice cream. Since we're not in an SHTF or an emergency situation, you can most definitely use your freezer and just put these bowls in your freezer. If you're like my family, however, we have stocked up tremendously on um, meats and frozen vegetables, stuff like that, just because of the pandemic and things running out. So we do not have any room whatsoever in our freezer. So I'm going to use the available and free snow right outside. So what I just did was I literally stuck the metal bowls right into the pile of snow outside of our house. This is going to work, if not better than the freezer, just as good as the freezer. It's gonna get these bowls nice and cold. And you wanna keep the bowls out there for at least an hour, if not two or three hours. Once your bowls are nice and cold, you're gonna go ahead and go out and scoop yourself some nice snow. Obviously, we don't want any yellow snow, people, and we don't want any of the snow that's on the bottom. So try to take the snow that's right on top that will eliminate having any kind of critters or any um, just junk that you don't wanna be eating. The amount of snow you collect is obviously dependent on how much you want to make. So snow cream consists of three simple ingredients. Vanilla extract, granulated sugar, and condensed canned milk. Now, I start out by just putting a little bit of vanilla extract in and a little bit of sugar because we can always adjust that later. You can always add more in, but like any recipe, you can't take out what you put in. And then when you go to put your milk in, you want to put it in the middle of the pot. I have no idea why it melts faster if you put it all over everything. There's probably like some scientific explanation to that, but I'm not smart enough to figure that out. I've just made this enough to know, just stick it in the middle and then fold in the outside of the snow into the middle. And that will help your ice cream to last a little bit longer and not melt. For this size of pot, I'm probably gonna need two cans of the milk, but if you're not making like a huge pot of it, then you're only going to need one. But you guys can see it's starting to look like vanilla ice cream. If, and when we get done with this, you guys, you cannot tell the difference. It tastes exactly like vanilla ice cream. And the greatest thing is if you guys don't like that type of ice cream, you can add chocolate syrup into this. You could add strawberry syrup into this. You could put ice cream topping on this. You could put sprinkles. Literally, it's just like ice cream. The possibilities are endless. And it's just so easy for little kids to help make this too. It's really easy. It's not really that messy. There's not that many ingredients and it could make any day stuck inside because of the snow better. And just like that, we have cold, creamy, delicious ice cream that we didn't need to go to the store for and we didn't need a freezer for. And the best part, my picky husband approves of it. <laughs> I like it. So let me know what you guys think of snow cream in the comments section down below. Let me know if you guys have ever made it before. I know as a little girl, I used to make this on snow days. It's super simple. I know it's so fun to make as a kid. So this is something that you could definitely do with your kids at home on a snow day. And I really want to know what you guys think. So comment that down below. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. It's free. It only takes a second and it really helps my channel out. And I'll see you guys all in the next one. Bye.